Hey everyone, John Lindquist here. Let's talk about funk tables in Lua, or you know, using the call meta method. So typically when you create a table, so we'll create a dog, um, if I try and call that as a function, when I run this, you'll see that it says you attempted to call dog, which is a table value. So you cannot call dog because dog is not a function. Now we can actually kind of change that by using the call meta method. So we'll set up our meta table and we'll set the call meta method which is going to take the table and this actually allows me to call a table. So I'll just say uh, I am now a func table. So if I set the meta table of dog to our meta table and I rerun this, you can see that this method here is now uh, forwarding on to the call meta method. And so it, now it's a func table. So what is the purpose of a func table? What can you do with it? Uh, the main thing you should think about is Instead of writing objects with functions that do, or not objects, tables with functions that, you know, do additional things to the tables, think of it in the reverse. Think of writing a function that can have tables assigned to it. So like functions with properties or values. So let's, let's start with our function. We'll call this uh, get person. Now, if I set up a meta table here and I say, uh, well, let's set up our meta table. And this is going to use the call meta method again. And we'll have a table and a key. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to create a person. So we'll just say person is uh, the name of the person will be the key that you pass in. And then we'll just return the person. So if I do... Um, if I say John is equal to get person and I request John and then I also have to make sure that I set the meta table, of course. So get person is our table, which is going to turn into this func table once I assign the meta table to it. Now once I call the meta table and pass in John, John's going to go from here to here to here going to create the person, give him the name of John, and then return him. So if I print John, and I print uh, John's name, and I run this, you'll see that it's returning this uh, person that it created, and the name that you passed in as John. Now, because this is a func table, we can actually do things like cache the results of a call. So if there's, I only ever want one person being named John, I can do something like create a cache for get person. This means that if I take the table, which is uh, you know the get person table, and I check to see if it already exists, so I'll say table, or if table cache key, then return table uh, cache key. So this means that whenever uh, this already exists in our cache, then just return uh, what you already have. Um, but if that's not true, then we'll actually create the person, and so then we'll push him into our table. And I'll say table cache key equals person. So if I run this again, nothing's going to change. Uh, you'll just see it's the exact same thing. But if I try and call this twice, and I'll just name this uh, another dude, uh, another dude, and another dude, you'll see that I'm getting the exact same table back. Um, you know, this is the same name and the same table. But if I try this again with, uh, let's say, Bill, 
I promise I'll come up with things more creative than John and Bill for future tutorials. And we'll just print off Bill and we'll print Bill's name. You'll see that we now have the exact same, the exact same instance and table of John, but this one is different uh, It's because it's a different table because it's Bill. So it's going through uh, on the second John. It's checking to see if this exists. If it does exist, then just break out of our uh, break out of our call and don't worry about this stuff. But if it doesn't exist, it's just going to skip this, create a new guy, uh, push him into our cache, and then return him. So this is basically you know one of the main benefits of uh, using func tables. So this is you know get person is a table. Um, the only reason you can call it is because you've set the meta table to a meta table that has the call meta, meta method defined. So, you know, this is great for things like caching results, uh, doing things like a flyweight pattern, which, you know, I may get into in later tutorials, or uh, simply just adding anything to a function um, that's going to help that function uh, perform and do what you want it to do, rather than creating a table with functions and values assigned to it, which may be the, the, the you know, the wrong way of thinking about the, the function you want to use. So that's uh, func tables and the call meta method. Hope that helps.